This kick can decide it all. The nation holds its breath. Yes, we're there! Hello and welcome back to the podcast. Today we're talking about an 18-year-old midfielder called Justin Fariza, who's from Dublin and currently plays for Shamrock Rovers. He was born on the 13th of January 2005, started off at Dublin Youth Teams Verona at the age of 3 until 10. Uh, then he moved to top youth sides, home farm, St. Kevin's Boys for a year and then he went to Shamrock Rovers as a around 14 year old where he has been ever since representing them at various youth levels until making his debut last year as only a 17 year old um, he also comes from a footballing family his brother uh, younger brother Richard is also a budding uh, player who's on the books of Shamrock Rovers too I believe um, he's also at trials at Atletico Madrid so uh, you can see where the drive to and the liaison with the big teams is coming from. Um, as said, Justin made his day his senior debut as a 17-year-old with Rovers last season. Uh, that's the 22 season. In a two-win, two-one win over St. Pat's in June 22. To date, he has made 21 senior appearances for them with one one goal. In all competitions, <clears throat> nine of which were in the league, nine appearances. So he hasn't played prolifically in the league over the last season and a half. Um, Rovers, of course, are the reigning defending uh, Premier Irish Premier Division champions and currently top of the league as well. So it's impressive for an 18 year old to be involved at, you know, Hurts me to say as a Bowes man, but as a at the top team in the country at the moment. Um but anyway, you know, again he hasn't played too much in the league over the season and a half. Uh, he's broke through, but um well really, yeah. A half a season last season and half a season this so one season really, I suppose. Um but yeah. He's played a lot in Europe and cups, and as like that's where the majority of his uh, appearances have come from. Um, the reasoning for that, I don't think, is strictly down to talent, but uh, that's not for me to. I'm not privy to that information, so I don't really know why he hasn't been week in week out playing for Rovers. But again, I don't think that's to do with um him and his football, to be honest. But uh. He is only starting off his career with Shamrock Rovers. He is uh, highly thought of, though, uh, by Rovers, who'd love to keep him. Doesn't look like they're going to now, but um, he is also being sought after by a litany of top clubs around Europe. And again, perhaps that plays into why he hasn't been playing so much for Rovers, um, that he has maybe been courting... Uh, other teams which you can't blame and um, maybe Rovers are a bit annoyed about that even though they've allowed him to go on several trials uh, like Hamburg in Germany and Tottenham Hotspurs again they had Sham Shamrock Rover gave permission for him to go on trials but again if it's a player they really want to keep they probably didn't really want him going on trials don't really want him moving but you know, if somebody's good enough to play at a higher level, I know he's only 18, it'd be great for Rovers to have him for a year or two and get a big fee, but, you know, again, that's not his fault. You only have one career and you got to make the most of it. He is only 18, so really he could have another, whatever, 17, 18, 19, 20 years, um, but he's still don't know when things are going to start when things are going to end so you gotta you gotta you can, only thing you know is now so you gotta make the best choices for you now Um, the future isn't promised to anyone of course uh, he's also had uh, contract offers from the likes of uh, Blackburn Rovers and Sampdoria who offered him a three-year deal 
which it is said he turned down. Um, other report, reportedly interested clubs include uh, Roma, Man City, Juventus, Celtic and Rangers have all been uh, keeping an eye on linked with him. Um, Shamrock Rovers did get him to sign up to a pro contract last year, reportedly until the end of this year, uh, which I believe again is November, the end of November, with no release clause. But November is what, three months away? So time is running out, of course. Is it? Yes, probably nearly four months. Um, but yeah, so if he was to go now, they get transfer fee wouldn't probably be a sizable one because there is only about three months left. But you'd hope, you'd imagine they get in the region of a six figure sum. With so much interest in them, it is perhaps surprising and also not so surprising um, that it would appear that he has agreed to sign for a new Serie A team, uh, Frosinone uh, Calcio who won the Serie B last season. It was their, uh, so it's their debut season in Serie A this year, kicking off. Um, their squad has no superstars in it, no big names. In fact, it doesn't even have any senior internationals in it, which you, you got to say is unusual for a Serie A team. There'd be some internationals from some country there's one guy that played for uh, Gambia, I think, once two years ago. So I wouldn't class him as a senior international on paper, yes, but he's only had one cap a couple of years ago, so he's not a first-team regular for them. There's uh, no one else that's been capped at senior level for any country. Um, so, yeah, their season kicks off at uh, Syria A. Season kicks off on the 19th of August against Napoli, so they're not having an easy first game run in. But anyway, uh, that's, so what's that about? Eight days away, um, so a week away from this, probably going out tomorrow, so a week away. Uh, if he's signed for them, hopefully that, that gets put through soon and he gets on their books and perhaps he's even in the first team squad um, yeah it would be interesting to see that anyway if he is in the first team squad come match day but you, you know uh, be great hopefully he, I, I doubt he'd sign for him if he was going into the youth so um, again it's not a done deal uh, officially anyway maybe it is behind the scenes uh, also, if they find a hard in Syria and get relegated, perhaps if he does well, it perhaps gives him an opportunity to show his quality and they might want to cash in on someone that hasn't cost them a lot of money and make a bit of money and reinvest it in their squad if they go back down to Syria B. Although he wouldn't be, you'd imagine, one of their higher earners. So... On that side, they might want to just uh, keep him. And if, again, going on a lot of assumptions here, if they are in Syria B, playing week in, week out, Syria A, Syria B, it's not bad for a 18. And if he, if they are in Syria B next season, a 19-year-old. Um, so, yeah, any scenario, of course, they, they aren't definitely going to get relegated. I don't know how they're going to do no one knows the future but um so if they did well or they divided uh getting relegated even just uh it was still any scenario really out of this move for him isn't a bad scenario once he's in the first team squad um and starts getting game time no outcome really is bad for him personally um obviously he could have moved to a higher profile team being 18 it opens up the UK to him he could have signed there um, and again maybe that will happen I don't know if this deal is a definite nail on but um, you know if he goes to some place like Man City or Spurs you'd imagine he'd go into their academy um, and if that was the case obviously he'd be probably on good money but 
you know, if that was the case for him personally, from a development point of view, be probably better to stay at Rovers and get yourself into the first team week in, week out football. It'd be more valuable than sitting in an academy somewhere and uh, hoping someday I'll make it. So, yeah, the Frosinone um, move would probably appear to be the best for him again as a player out of all those uh, interested clubs and uh, um, of course players shouldn't always just go for the biggest financial package on offer and perhaps this is why he is potentially going to a fairly unknown Serie A team without any big stars there may be an opening to get into that first team rather than uh, sooner rather than later and avoid going into an academy as I said if he wasn't going to start week in week out for for uh, this potential suitor in Italy um, and he was going to go into an academy you'd imagine he'd stay at Rovers even because like his move into first team football with them isn't far off you'd imagine it's imminent so if he stuck around for another year there it's not going to damage his brand is it to be at the Irish champions playing week in week out football so you'd imagine the plan was to get into first team football perhaps you know that's something they've spoke about no one can promise you you're going to play they're certainly not going to promise a young player that isn't known but you'd imagine they've given him kind of assurances that if he does it it's there for the taking for him you know to play week in get involved so you'd imagine that's why he's potentially going here internationally he's re represented Ireland uh, extensively at youth level um, so far at under 15s under 17s under 18s and under 19s uh, and you'd imagine this will only progress to under 21s level and then when he starts getting first team football um, again depending at the level but you'd imagine he's gonna turn into a senior Irish international he was born in Ireland um, but he does have the option to play for Albania too as both his parents are originally from there um, Albania has shown interest in him as well and offered him offered to fast track him into their senior setup but again, looking from the outside, I don't know what's in his mind but or in his family's mind. It would appear at the moment he only has eyes for Ireland. So it's really Ireland's uh, gem to lose. Um, like if they were maybe stalling or for some reason he wasn't breaking into the first team, he might then decide to play for Albania. But again... I don't know what he personally feels about it. but yeah hopefully he does choose Ireland um, at only 18 with first team football uh, with the Irish champions and so much interest in him uh, the future definitely looks amazing for him and yeah hopefully he does get that move to Italy and hopefully goes through in the next few days and he can be involved in even just the squad at that stage might be not enough time for him to really hit the ground so but even just to be there on the match day against Napoli and then over the coming weeks uh, break into the first team hopefully uh, again it hasn't definitely gone through so hopefully that is a, I, I've seen some people think it's not a good move for young players to go to Italy, I think it is just it's only a new, a new thing for uh, Irish internationals. Again, if you're going to go to an academy, it's like anything, but if you're gonna go like the two lads that gone to Udinese or the lad that's gone to Como, they're in the first team squads. For them, it's different to the others, you know, uh, AC Milan, Inter Milan, uh, and uh, Ryan as well and uh, Lecce um, they're on the academy but the other guys are in the f first team squad again 
don't think it's bad to be in an academy, don't get me wrong. I think it's great um, that you're making, thinking outside the box and all of those could turn into uh, good season pros with those clubs or perhaps move on somewhere else and make it happen. But either way, anyway, this particular move, I think, is is a good one. Um, and it would suit him and his development. Again, great times ahead. It would appear just a formality of uh, when he's going to play for Ireland. And uh, whatever happens, we'll be watching.